Thank Hello, you, my how are you? Hey, Omar, how are you? Good to see you. <laughs> Good to see you, too. Um, I enjoyed watching you do the 60 meters uh, a couple weeks ago. Yes. Kind of a rust buster. Definitely a rust buster. Uh, no speed work, literally all just strength coming off background training. Um, and I was happy I was able to hold my own with a group of the world's best sprinters. Uh, but it definitely felt good, especially being on the home track. And um, there's just something about coming back to Arkansas and competing. You know, if you ever doubt your competitiveness, I think this is, I think I told Coach, I think this was the best place to open my season just because it just brought me, it's very humbling and it just brought me so much memories of, you know, breaking a collegiate record here and the success that I had here and all that. So um, when I stepped on the track, all that doubt of my competitiveness and all that, because like I said, I haven't raced in a long time. Um, it just felt right. It's just, it was like a very organic feel. And, you know, the starters um, that um, that I respect and love so much, all the area and all those people I get to say hi to and hug them all, you know, um, yeah, we all had masks on, but I still wanted to hug them because they mean, meant a lot to me and I love those people. Um, so it just, you know, made me feel a lot more comfortable and was ready to get, you know, everybody was excited to see me compete on the home track again. So that gave me a lot of confidence. Omar, you're one of the most positive people on the circuit. And I always enjoy talking with you wherever we're at. The pandemics have to have been a challenge for you. What would you have been telling yourself during the last 10 or 11 months? It was very hard, you know, for a lot of us athletes. And I know a lot of athletes, their mental health was challenged. Uh, in mind um i think it was just it's almost like when you're training uncertainty and it's it feels almost feels like your hard work is just doesn't make sense at all i know a lot of athletes can relate um so it was very challenging and i know for a lot of athletes i know they lost their contracts and then it's like it was very hard seeing some of my friends who i love dearly and my competitors you know just you know we're just just losing contracts and didn't know what to do and yeah. you know it was very hard to watch that um and, you know, not being able to race and not because it's like not being in our element. We just a lot of athletes just didn't know what to do. And it was very, very challenging. And so the fact that we, you know, I have to credit American Track League for giving us an opportunity to come out here and to feel some sort of normalcy and to be able to just be in our element again. I'm very, very grateful because it's, it's very hard on us athletes and we're trying and we're, it's just like it's nothing is still we're still being hopeful you know what i mean everything sure. is still certain. and so i think it's very hard to train in the back of our heads knowing that we're still training hard but we're still things are still a bit uncertain but like i said we're all being hopeful we're all hoping for the best and i'm pretty sure the olympics will go on and athletes will get an opportunity again like we're getting now to showcase themselves and hopefully get their contracts back and all that um you know so it's it's like i said i'm very grateful that's all i can say but i'm cool. just like i being positive and I'm hoping that we all will get to do what we love and get some normalcy back. Okay. Final question for Omar real quick up. What should we look for in watching you hurdle tomorrow? What are you trying to achieve in your first hurdle race in a long time? I can assure you that you will see me out there having fun. Good. You know, and you know me so well that when Omar is happy and Omar is healthy, I, I can run, I'm running, I'm going to run fast. You know right. what I mean? Cool. Take, and, you know, if you guys are technical, uh, you know, the hurdles are very technical. So there's a lot of things that I want to fix technically. And I think with the confidence that I have that I'm happy, I'm happy and healthy, um, there's nothing that I can't do. You know what I mean? Cool. So, like I said, I'm just really excited to just go out there and just just have fun and everything else will take care of itself. Omar, how would you answer that? Oh, absolutely. For sure. You have to be a racer. I mean, for me, you have to be a racer before you can become a record breaker. You yeah. know what I mean? starts there um and then you just like i said for, like nikki said for champ, um, championships you do what do enough to win you know you race you go out there and race competitively and everything else will take care of itself if you go out there and execute and you know racing leads to a, a medal um a, a record then that's icing on the cake but ultimately it's always racing first and making sure that we're executing and doing enough to win cool